Thank you all for coming today. It is uh, always fantastic to be in a be beautiful Balboa Park on a beautiful morning. And I'm, I'm really delighted to be here today because it is my pleasure to announce the return of the Tijuana Innovadora, a truly world-class event. This week-long conference really is a showcase of the partnership, the collaboration, and opportunities within the San Diego and Tijuana mega region. And it's a public demonstration of the unlimited possibilities when you focus on building bridges through binational cooperation and collaboration. And I'd like to thank Jose Galacata, the founder and president of Tijuana Innovadora, for putting on this great event. And also joining us today in support of the Tijuana Innovadora is Marcela Solorio, Consul General of Mexico in San Diego, William Ostick, who's our General Consul in Tijuana for the U.S. State Department, and Jamal Kurkar, who is President and CEO of the Institute of the Americas. And a special thank you to Rob Sidner, Seidner and the entire staff here at the Mingay International Museum for letting us use their beautiful building for today's announcement. Tijuana Innovadora is a tremendous opportunity to learn, to understand, and to appreciate the innovations that are occurring in our cross-border region. And I think many of you know as mayor, anytime I get the opportunity to promote our cross-border region, to talk about the great things that we are doing in San Diego and Tijuana, that strength of that relationship continues to make us a much stronger region. San Diego is a city of innovation. From our biotech companies to cybersecurity, we're making advancements in technology and science that truly are the envy of the world. And without a doubt, Tijuana is a city of innovation as well. Tijuana Innovadora is proof of that. As I said before, it helps us showcase that, not just to the state, not just to the nation, but to the entire world. So it's fitting that this year's event is gonna highlight creative industries, fashion, and environmental sustainability. I'd like to encourage all San Diegans to visit Tijuana Innovadora, and we're happy to announce that it's never been easier to go. Tijuana Innovadora is offering a safe, reliable, and easy transportation option from right here in Balboa Park. Groups can park at Balboa Park and then take a shuttle straight to and from the event. And it comes with expedited crossing at the border. And if any San Diegans want to take advantage of this opportunity, they should go to TijuanaInnovadora.com and click on San Diego Shuttle to sign up. Tijuana Innovadora is a special event that attracts tens of thousands of people, and my hope is that many San Diegans, businesses, school groups, and residents will go and make important and valuable connections. I think what you'll see is that San Diego and Tijuana share the same vision for economic prosperity, cultural vibrancy, and a future full of unlimited possibilities. That is something that I am very, very proud of as mayor. And just a quick uh, couple of other sentences here. Es un placer anunciar el regreso de Tijuana en Avadora. Esta conferencia es un ejemplo de las oportunidades dentro de la mega región de San Diego, Tijuana. Es una demostración de las posibilidades ilimitadas cuando trabajamos juntos. And with that, I'd like to introduce Marcela Solorio, our Consul General of Mexico in San Diego. Marcela, thank you. Thank you, Mayor, and uh, for your binational support thank as you. well, approach. Um, I'm going to share with you very briefly that when I was posted in Israel seven years ago, that's the first time I got to know about Tijuana Innovadora. I didn't really know what was going on, but I, I knew that was something fantastic for the region. And uh, now that I am here posted in San Diego, I can say that you have to leave it to believe it. Uh, the region is fantastic, and now that Tijuana Innovadora has this, is featuring the uh, creative industries, I think that it reflects what's really going on in the region. And in that sense, the um, Mexican consulate in uh, San Diego is also adapting itself, its uh, working program, 
to the needs of the people on both sides of the border. Because as a cross-border uh, council, as I uh, named myself, I think it's pretty important to, uh, aware, to have this awareness that Mayor Faulkner and uh, my dear friend Jose Galicot has this vision. And uh, so, and lastly, I just uh, want to thank uh, again Tijuana Innovadora, a Don Jose, for making uh, the Consul General of Mexico part of this effort. And uh, now I'm going to introduce my dear friend and colleague, the Consul uh, General US, from US in Tijuana, William Ostick. Thank you. Thank you very much, Marcella. It's my, it's my great pleasure to participate in the kickoff of a world-class event like Tijuana Innovadora. Um, for me, organizations like Tijuana Innovadora um, represent the best of what the border is. Um, the border is not a barrier, but it's a node of communication between our two great countries and two great cities like San Diego and Tijuana. It brings together America's finest city with the gateway to the Americas, and really, the Calibaja region is without a doubt and demonstrably the most dynamic region, border region in the world. And Tijuana and Valora celebrates that. Um, it continues to set a, uh, an example for our binational region. Um, during the course of Tijuana and Valora, we're also going to celebrate uh, in the Walk of Fame some very notable people who have contributed to this dynamic region. I'll just mention uh, a few of them. Uh, Sociologist and expert on cross-border issues, Mary Walsh Walshock will be uh, celebrated. Uh, weight loss surgeon, Dr. Dr. Ariel Ortiz. CEO and founder of Media Arts Center San Diego, Ethan Van Thilo. These are individuals who have contributed to uh, the education and talent and cross-border cooperation collaboration that uh, Mayor Faulkner mentioned. They represent the community that we want to create across this great uh, border and across our frontier. I hope you will join me in honoring these individuals at the Walk of Fame presentation during Tijuana Innovadora. I thank you and I, it's my pleasure to introduce to you now our next presenter, Jamal Kokar, President and CEO of the Institute of the Americas. Good morning. Uh, special greetings to, to the mayor and uh, John, uh, Don Jose for your for leadership in the region. The Institute has been a proud supporter of relationships between and within the Americas for over 30 years now. And we're particularly excited to see the initiative that Don Jose and Tijuana Innovadora brings to this region to advance innovation and entrepreneurship across the Americas. Not only is this effort symbolic of the importance of this binational region, but we think it serves as a benchmark for other countries and other regions throughout the Americas to take an example of what's possible when you have two powerful nations and two powerful communities collaborate in ways that are innovative, that stretch the horizons in terms of what's possible when we collaborate. And I think the celebration that we bring forward in the next two months will demonstrate to both our continents, frankly, this, the, the strength of our peoples united when our companies and our researchers and our youth work together. So with that, I'd like to congratulate Don Jose, um, the mayor of San Diego, the mayor of Tijuana, who's not with us today, and all of the people in the binational region to supporting an effort. And of course, the Institute of America stands firmly behind these efforts and look forward to supporting you in the future. Thank you. Estimados amigos, dear friends, I'm enjoying a fantastic day, beautiful day in San Diego. Thank you, my friends, for all your nice words. When we began Tijuana Innovadora, we, we take the, the, the soul of Tijuana and show to the public how strong and beautiful the city was and how the inhabitants of Tijuana. The second time, we decided that Tijuana and San Diego uh, are stronger together. Mrs. Clinton copied that, that idea. So together we are stronger and we are doing a fantastic job in that field. There is no other border, there is no other place where two countries en enjoy this relationship, this beautiful relationship. We're going to present many, many things in this Tijuana Innovadora and we have a new way to say it. We say it, oh yeah, when we work hard, when we do things 
we are together and we're positive. So, oh yeah, we're going to do a fantastic, extraordinary event. We're going to have over there many good, beautiful things. Creative industries in music. We have people that you will never have it again possible. We are going to have Jose Angel Gurria, who is the Secretary General of the OCDE World Organization. We have Brad Lancaster, that is environmentalist. We have Rika Muranaka. Maybe you don't know her, but you have heard her. She invented all the music for the, for the games, for the electronic games. Sergio Aragonés, she's a, she's a fantastic sir. And also Alan Bersin told me, this is the fourth time that Alan Bersin comes, and when I met him, he told me, Jose, I'm going to be this time again. So we are going to have Alan Bersin, and we're very grateful. We have Amate Escalante. She, he just won the, the first prize in, in, uh, as a director, a movie director, in Vienna and in Austria. And he's going to give lectures here with us. We are going to have Jorge Castañeda, who makes... Maybe he will try to be the next president of Mexico. We have the, the very president of the, all the banks of Mexico. Then we will know what's going to happen with the peso. Uh, Richard Davis from Cirque du Soleil. The people who invented the Cirque du Soleil are going to be here with us. So Tijuana Innovador is going to be from the 3rd to the 10th of November. Uh, the, the most important thing is we are going to be together. Tijuana and San Diego, there is no other way to do it, but only working together in a happy, strong environment of friendship and good work. So we are going to have TEDx Tijuana. This is the second time international TEDx is going to be done in Tijuana. We, we are going to have many, many, many things from the third to the 10th of November. And I would have to tell you, we are going to do it again together, and we are going to do it strongly, and we are going to make something that will change the environment again. So let's do it together. Oh, yeah. <laughs>